Since retiring from the public's eye, I have resigned myself to a life of solitude. For two years, I started my day watching Kung Fu theater. Days, then weeks, blurred into one long, greasy telethon. The next thing I know, some government goons show up at my place. It seems they've caught a whiff of old Mr. Sunshine himself. Rez. He's back in the media dimension, and they think I'm crazy enough to go back in after them. So they whisk me away to interrogation 101. They play rough. Start giving me the business. I give a little back. Classic. So we negotiate a little something. By they throw in one of those secret agent suits, and I tell them we got a deal. You know, we didn't introduce ourselves. Oh, yeah. Like I'm Hi, I'm Kirk the Jerk. And I'm Crafty Ashley. It's hey. gonna be deja ouch all over again. God, that is lame. And this is a couple of gamers with our first uh, console based game, uh, Gex Enter the Gecko. Woo! Uh, one of my personal favorites from my childhood. Um, some people aren't big fans of it. I am not among those people. I I am a huge fan of the Gex series. Yep. I think it did some interesting things. I think the platforming in them was solid. Not great, but solid. Um, and there are, like, no good Let's Plays that I've seen. So, uh... Yeah, so I just figure it's about time someone do one. Uh, start load options, password options, load start. Well, yeah, I don't have any save file of this. Alright. Um, if anyone doesn't know, there is a game before this one. Uh, we might go back to it at some point. It's just called Dex. Um, and, uh, this, but this one here is the first one. It's a 3D platformer, and I know my way around this one a lot better. Um, I, I barely know the 2D one at all, so that's why we're starting with this one. And, um, yeah. So, with that, let's start. One thing I always loved about this game, it's very pretty. And besides the ridiculous amount of fog in the media dimension, it's it's got nice graphics. Like not the best, but the music's amazing in it. Yeah, for the media dimension, that'll change. Um, the wonderful voice acting of Dana Gould, which can get repetitive, but he's a hilarious comedian if you haven't seen him. Um, it's got this awesome little system, uh, very Super Mario 64-esque, except you can choose any of them right from the start. You don't have to, like, sequentially get one and then the other. Um, there are three red remotes in each level, um, and every level also has two silver, silver or white remotes. Uh, which open bonus levels if you get enough of them. The red ones are necessary to open boss levels, so that you can move to later levels. And uh, we'll start with the first one. Why are uh, because this is a cartoon world. It's a Bugs Bunny reference. Ah, oh. uh, to see the world as Keith Richards does. So I'm going to try and get this as close to 100% LP as I can. Um, I want to point out how adult that joke was. Oh yeah, totally. Like this game was oh, rated. to be in Keith Richards' head. Uh, yeah. Looks like Beetlejuice threw up. Andy. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of that in this game. Um, very adult humor, despite it being like blatantly a kids' game. Um, and I love it because as a kid, I never got any of it. Also, I love this. Like a luau at Mel Blanc's house. Like a fat lady at Anvil. Um, fat lady. Kitchen sink. There it is. It's, it's very like Looney Tunes. This entire level. Except colored like a set up like a really high Alice in Wonderland esque thing. 
Hey, watch it! Which I don't understand, but... Uh, pff, who knows? Uh, the game is, like, just wacky. So what's the goal on this level? Um, get to the teetering rock. Isn't that what you were just saying? No. That's, like, way further in. Uh, also, get 30 collectibles, you get a life, and the collectibles change. Get 40 of those collectibles, you get a life, and they, uh, the collectible changes. Get 50 of that collectible, and um, you get the one of the silver remotes. There's one that's a reward for picking up everything, and one of them that you get for um, one of them you get that's hidden in the level. Which is those flowers are totally announced. I'm not really going to rip off. Blue. I hate those. Oh yeah, I can I can kind of see it. Looking that way to the top. I personally, I always thought of it as just anthropomorphism from, uh, or basically just like standard cartoon hair. That was my interpretation of it. But hey, everyone gets their own opinion. A little piranhas in the water here. Again, I always thought this game just looked beautiful. It's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It is just so early 3D platform art, and that's what I got about it. Uh, yeah, it's just so early 3D Here we have the little thing. Oh, shoot! Ah, uh, that's where the reward remote was. It was taking a while to point out that the, it has a Bugs Bunny imprint. Which anyone who's watching this probably already realized on the uh, sliding rock there. This game's just so beautiful. Like, yeah, the controls are a little iffy, the camera's horrible, but it's actually not a bad game. Itself. There we go, one of the silver ones. Maybe we have to get a new 12? Uh, two. You get one silver remote that's hidden, and one for a reward for picking up a bunch of collectibles, like a shit ton of collectibles. Like the Spinch Cannon and Carrots? Yeah. A grand total of 120 pickups in each level to get the silver remote in each level. Well, this game didn't encourage childhood OCD, no, did it? It's a collectible. That's, I mean, like Donkey Kong before it, and fucking oh Banjo Kazooie is one of the worst culprits of that. Like the notes. Yeah, but it has a set goal. Hey, forget about it. Yeah, so is this. Does it tell you how many? Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, but do you know how many before you get the thing? Yeah. Yeah, after. I, I thought I explained this already, but I, I probably didn't. Um. After 30 of the uh, after 30 of the carrots, it goes to the spinach cans. Uh -huh. After 40 of the uh, spinach, fuck. Uh, after 40 of the spinach cans, it goes to um, uh, detonators. Which, if you get 50 of the detonators, then you get the silver remote. Oh. So 120 total. Uh, oh! Oh! It's gonna be easy. Uh, um, fair warning ahead of time. Some levels give out a lot more than others. Like collectibles. Yeah. Like it's pretty easy to get all the collectibles in this one, but later levels um, will be a fucking chore. Right, so that one. Sorry. 
Yeah. And the monitor fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry guys, yeah, it's still going, see? Well, that'll do it for our first one, and we will be right back. Yay.